Welcome to Morrowind Monday. I am Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I will interrupt the music for a little bit to bring up my list of things that I want to announce. Because, as you might have noticed, the title screen is a little bit different. I have changed from the official Morrowind software to a software called OpenMW, Open Morrowind, which is not a completely rewrite of the game, but of the game engine. So basically, Open Morrowind is, um, you could say, state-of-the-art version of the Morrowind engine that um, takes the original game files and basically plays them back, like a DVD player plays the video on the DVD or Blu-ray on the Blu-ray, whatever. To me, these video discs, all I, I always all call all of them DVD for some reason. It stuck with me. Um, sadly, what Open Morrowind does or does not be is loading the save games. So as, as it reads the, the original game files, it also is able to read the mods. So I have all my mods that I had installed. They are still there. I actually added one more. I'm going to come to that soon. But the save games have a different format and um, you can, there is a tool to convert them, but the official forum already said it's very old, it hasn't been maintained, so don't use that. What I did, what I actually did is I replayed the whole game until the point where we were. I do have my to-do list which saves the, the checked things, so I could easily replay that. But there are slight differences that I made for one reason, because I wanted to change them, because I yeah, want, wanted them changed in the history. The other reason was that I didn't remember right, and the third reason was, and that's where I came to, I added one mod, which I found like three weeks into playing, and I didn't want to start over again, which is, which adds a Black Panther race that is playable. This Black Panther race is not just a remodel of the Khajiit, it has different stats and it's focused on magic. Which is good by, because we are playing a mage, right? Um, the second thing that I did, remember that guy who owes um, a debt to lots of people in Aldrun, This Elena something something fellow. Um, I let him live. I actually honestly, I actually looked up if that's possible. And there are multiple ways to do this, and I didn't want to. I actually didn't want to kill him in the first place. I thought this was the only way to solve this quest, and um, basically, I, I didn't want to kill him, so I did not in this playthrough. I let him live, so he's now joined the temple, and gave me all the stuff. I gave everything back to the people. Then, since I started not with the shock spell, but with a fireball spell, but basically the same things, because I just. I thought it would be interesting to try a different spell uh, for damage dealing. Um, I also started learning to summon a bone walker. I'm not very good at that now because I only leveled up to level 7 where we left off. But yeah, I did train some of the conjuration skills which we did not do before. So I have a little bit of conjuration experience. And I, and there are two uh, there is one thing I did not yet do, which we already did in the last recording. I did not yet give these Chronicles of Anchul left to Bladas because I wanted to show you something that I noticed while replaying and um, for some reason it didn't cross my mind to try this when we played for the first time, but now I, th there is more lore that, that I will be able to read. And I also in this playthrough I got a quest from a council member who didn't give us a follow-up quest and we're going to do this quest next, I think. <clears throat> okay, so I can check the announced changes. This will again interrupt the music because the game loses the focus. And then I'm going to go and bring up the stream again. Close this and there we go. Uh, one change that you might notice in the open Morrowind thing is that it loads way... For, first of all, I can over here, switch between different characters. So these are the subtle, subtle, the B is silent, sorry. The subtle differences that you'll notice, and yes, for some reason I'm a grammar Nazi in, in English, but not in German, it's weird. Um, I can select a character and it seems, and I didn't try this, but it seems that open, M, M, I always want to say MV, M, open Morrowind, 
um, wants or uh, uh, sorts groups the save games by character, which is awesome because I can just start a new game completely different and it does not show up here in the Let's Play series. So that's nice. So let's load the game and the game should load way faster than it did before. And yes, the Pantheon race is confirmed thereby as the people in the chat just suggested. So here, here I was just learning just firing the conjuration uh, trainer spell that I did, like summon a bone walker for one second, which has a high success rate. Um, yes, I did train in, in, in the off screen stuff. I did train um, a bit out of character, basically. Um, and this is what I wanted to do. Ah, I can't turn around like this. So here you can see me from the front. This is the Panther race. Can I also turn him around? Nope does not seem like it. Middle click is now my button for the inventory. I need to remember this. I still sometimes press the tab key and go into the vanity mode. But one another difference that we have is these search bars. Now I can look like HE for health and it shows me all the items that have HE in their name. Same goes for the spells down here. I can just say some for summon and so, uh, it only shows me the summon Bonewalker spell, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome change to the um, to the um, yeah. I don't have any moderator things, so you have to bear with the spam bots on the, for the people on Twitch. I'm sorry. Um, so uh, these sorty things are there, and I need to. I, I have to switch to see the recording because I don't know the recording time else, which is. Uh, which is bad because I don't know when to stop. <laughs> that would be bad. Okay, um, there we go. Now we can go and head to Bladas. In Sedrithmora, not the spells travel. So there we go, Sedrithmora. Wolverine Hall Mages Guild. That's where we headed. And we're going to head over. Lots of talking before the actual video or the actual gameplay starts, but I think that was necessary so you knew what had happened. And I think even, even though this takes a while now, the loading is faster than before. So that's one of the um, major upsides of OpenMW. And this to me is the big confirm. The um, frame rate is dropping a lot here now that I'm recording because old. OpenMW has a better frame rate. So it makes use of my better graphics card. But um, since the recording also runs on the graphics card, I think that's, that's a trouble. So again, w once I digitize the VHS cassettes, I will use the HDMI recording box and a separate recording computer, like a laptop to record and stream. And then this should also be way better. So let's head over. No way, Bladas was not in the council hall. I am being an idiot. Bladas is in Gnesis. I was thinking about the council quest here. So let's real quick head over to Gnesis. I should also walk faster because, because I got way more upgrades in my speed stat this playthrough. Because it's walking, like, I'm already running. What running in, in Morrowind is, is, that's that's always one of the things. You're, it feels so super slow. This guy who stood in my way. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Uh, if you should hear some weird noise in the background, I have, I have this air cleaner running in the background and when it decides that the air is dirty, uh, yes, yesterday we thought that it got jealous of the KitchenAid machine that we had in a video that we viewed, and it turned on all the way, and it, it sounded like it would just, like a fighter jet would just take off uh, every minute. Um, but yeah, it, it said uh, it said the air pollution is at 100 something, whatever unit it is, uh, and it turned off, uh, turned up to the fullest setting and I want to try if this is hearable on the stream. If it is, I can turn it into silent mode, but I do enjoy the air quality. I actually didn't have to take my nose spray for my clogged nose because of dust mite allergy. Um, 
yesterday at all, only when I went to bed and it's not running in my bedroom, so that's understandable. So we want to go to Kinesis. Yeah, this is working way better. Talking is easier for me today than it usually is. And drinking is also. It's, it's important to stay hydrated. So whenever you hear this, just take a sip of whatever beverage you have. And if you don't have any beverage standing by, just pour yourself a cup or glass or whatever of something to drink. And remember to take a sip regularly. And there we are. This is the place Arvsdrelen or however this is pronounced. <laughs> um, this is where our friend is. And as you might see, I still have the Chronicles of Nchilev that he wants to have. Damn it, I, I once swore to never pronounce the dwarven names again. And here I am, happily pronouncing them away and um, butchering them. <laughs> I think it's... is it... is it butcher... I think it's butchering. That was one of the words where the U is like in German. Okay, there we are. He's, he's some kind of conjurer. Luckily, these are not hostile. There we go. I have... Um, what brings you here, Nighty? Oh, well, I've got the Chronicles that you asked for. One of the three books, you know. Have you found a copy? Yeah, here it is. I'm holding it out for you, you know. Ah, good. I will not forget this. And one thing that I did not notice, or that I... Basically, it's obvious, isn't it? The, the disposition changed. I mean, he likes us because we brought him the book. And then I thought, and I, and I just um, reloaded the safe game so we can do this together. I thought I'd just ask him the three questions again. So, first question. What do you know about the disappearance of the dwarves? It was unfashionable among the Dwemer to view their spirits as th synthetic constructs, three, four, or forty creational gradients below the divine. During the Dawn Era, they researched the death of the Earth bones, what we call now the laws of nature, dissecting the process of the sacred willing itself into the profane. I believe their mechanists and tonal architects discovered systematic regression techniques to perform the reverse. That is, to create the sacred from the depths of the profane. Oh, do you continue? That sounds interesting. As the Dwemer left no corpses or traces of conflict behind, I believe that generations of ritualistic anti-creations resulted in their immediate but foreseen removal from the Mundus. They retreated behind math, behind color, behind the active principle itself. That the Dwemer vanished during a conflict with Nerevar and the Tribunal is merely coincidence. Um, okay, but who is this Nerevar guy? I, I mean, many people seem to talk about him. When the Dunmer followed Veloth to Morrowind, they were many warring clans with no law or leader in common. One Dunmer warlord, Nerevar, had the ambition to rule all the Dunmer. In that time, House Dwemer were great enchantress, so Nerevar went in secret to a Dwemer smith and asked for an enchanted ring that would help him. The ring gave its wearer the great powers of persuasion. For safety, it was enchanted to instantly kill anyone who wore it except Nerevar. Oh, that sounds like an interesting ring. I bet many people wanted to get their hands on it and, I guess, subsequently died. The ring was called the Moon and Star. It helped Nerevar unite the various clans into the First Council. Later, however, disputes over religion divided the Council, with House Dwemer and House Dagoth on one side, and all the other houses on the other. Dumek and Dagoth invited Orc and Nord clans as allies and held Northwest Morrowind, while Nerevar mustered the other houses and nomad tribes and marched to meet the Dwemer Dagoth Western forces. So there was a big war, was it? The armies met at Red Mountain, a Dwemer stronghold. The Dwemer were defeated and terrible sorceries were used, resulting in the utter extermination of House Dwemer, House Dagoth and their allies. Nerevar died at the battle 
or after the battle, <laughs> that is, and his ring was lost. But Nerevar's alliance survived in Morrowind's ruling political institution, the Grand Council. So that's an interesting bit of lore that we got here. So what about the, the second question about the Dwemer artifacts? In their denial of both phenomena and nomena, whatever that may be, the Dremer found comfort in the creation of animunculi, which in their operation combined two incompatible principles, thus denying both. In the first Dwemer ruin I studied, quite by chance in my venering youth, someone had activated the animunculi guardians and I was unable to make a proper study of them. Since then I have on occasion found ruins, especially here in Vardenfell, where the animunculi are still active. I think he's talking about the um, spiders and saturians and stuff. Uh, what do you know about their language? I do not know their language. Oh, thank you. So we got a little bit of lore out of him. One more thing to check. Let me real quick do this, which means the music stops because I leave the... And then we will head over to the council and let the council member reiterate the quest that they had for us because I honestly don't know where it, where back in the backlog of quests in the journal it is. Um, and one good thing I like about the Elder Scrolls games is once you hit the Q key, your character walks forward all the time and I can take that hand and take a sip of my drink. Fresh water. Oh, I think, oh yeah, I need to go down first and then, then over here. That's it. There we go. We have this. Oh yeah, I have like 20 frames here when I'm not recording. I know that it's not 30. <laughs> I, I don't have the beefiest computer and I, I don't need it. I'm actually... I'm uh, very happy with like 15 to 20 frames, that's okay, but when it drops below 10, that's even bad in for my taste. And for some reason, this guy here, the Silstrider guy, did spawn down here. So I always have, in Gnese, have to walk down here. That's kind of weird. But yeah, things things are happening. And it is, uh, it is a Bethesda game after all. Though I don't know if Todd Howard was... Um, yet affiliated with that one. I think he started out with Oblivion, I'm not sure. Um, so I'm a bit hesitant to quote the spiffing bread by saying the infinite wisdom of Todd Howard. But it still fits in that case, even if Todd Howard should not be. The, the infinite wisdom of Bethesda. <laughs> okay, so let's travel over to... Now we travel over to Sabre Mora. Walk down to. I, I don't like to have this auto walking on. And, and in here, yeah, and here I have like 150 frames even when walking. So the recording does take its toll on the frame rate, which is understandable, honestly. Let me real quick heal that. Ah, uh, yeah. Perfect. I'm the best mage there is, failing at a simple heal spell. Ah, <sighs> get out of the way. Uh, these guards, seriously. <laughs> I should change the recording for YouTube down to 25 frames so that people don't notice <laughs> the drops that much. <laughs> uh, as I said, I, I played this game and I'm, I think I'm, I'm telling this anecdote now for the umpteenth time. I, play, I played this game back when, when I did at below 10 frames a second at most, because it was not cut out for my computer. It came with a graphics card. <laughs> there we have it, six frames per second. Oh my god, I don't want to go to Balmora with this setup. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to be quick with the VHS stuff so we can have proper frame rates. May I help? Uh, let's head to the council. Of course I could turn on the quality, but no, <laughs> I'd rather have I'd rather have a slideshow than the quality. I played this game as a slideshow, so I'm used to that, especially with that game. Uh, weird thing is, Half-Life 2 does not have these problems. 
So yeah, I don't know. <laughs> kind of weird. So yeah, this first person over here <clears throat> was the one, and he asked us to deliver to deliver blah, blah, deliver Daedra skin deliver directly to Master Area Aaron. Aaron. Oh, I always read Aaron, which is the name of a of, of a band of a project by Arian Lucasen. I always read that. <laughs> Okay, so he wants us to recover some Daedra skin, and honestly, I'm not going to do this by killing one of them. I'm going to try and... <laughs> Even looking at the floor does help. Ah, that's so funny. I mean, it is funny because it's an old game. It should be, it should be working perfectly with modern graphics cards, and it is a modern engine now, so <laughs> what are they doing? That's so funny. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to try to buy it from some alchemist or something like that. Go so ahead. let's see if some alchemist sells them. Okay, and I've just been notified that when I have the Temeril rebuild mod, <laughs> that <laughs> once I go to the to the mainland, I have like 0.5 frames a second. Uh, luckily, I'm not using that mod. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> that would be the way that I played it yes, way back when. Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so now I can just enter something like that or S K S K I and it says scamp skin, which is not what we want. I think I could try. Maybe a scamp is a Daedra back, but I think Daedra skin is is its own item in the game. <clears throat> Let me real quick just check the um, the sellers in the Mage Guild before I head back. <laughs> well, I could for the for the recording. I could go all the way and have it interpolate the frames <laughs> some way, but no, <laughs> you have to bear with me. I see I see the screen uh, the screenshot. Yeah, the um, slideshow. You have to bear with that also. <laughs> Of course, that doesn't help the people on Twitch who see it live, so... <laughs> Why should the people on YouTube have it better than, than the people who see it live, right? <laughs> now, that would be weird. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was actually pondering about, like, recording it in 10 frames and then having the recording software interpolate to 30. Doing time and interpolation. That's the enchanter. I okay. always forget who sells what, so this is a spell seller. Uh, I don't know what he sells. That does not look like some kind of skin. Nope, SK does not yield any results. All right. I'm intrigued. Go ahead. <clears throat> oh, Greetings. I'm not yet privileged enough. Please, by all means, I'm listening. <sighs> is there something I can do? Those weird scaled creatures. Slaves, all of them. To what do I owe this pleasure? I'm going to real quick see if the scam skin works. Real quick. I should do. You know what? I'm going to do a mark in the council. Yep. My fatigue is so low that well, I always forget that he's blocking the way because usually he's standing somewhere else. So I'm cu curious what kind of mods I will find for Oblivion because yes, of, I, I might have said in, in earlier recordings that I'm not going to play the other games, but um, yeah, of course, <laughs> I am. I, I love the Elder Scrolls so much. Though I, I suck so hard on the on the first game, I won't play. I won't play it. I just I, once I get out of the dungeon, I'm practically dead. First encounter, I'm dead. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Don't know what to do. I, it took me a whole long time to to realize how to actually fight in that game, <laughs> and then I then I discovered, hey, GOG does have the manuals. Let's read the manual. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, yeah, fun stuff. But yeah, it's, it tells you in the manual how to fight, but it does not tell you how to survive the first city, basically. So, it's simply too hard for me. 
Okay, now let's check and then do a little... So, does this... Ah, uh, oh, I'm an idiot. Directly to Master Arian, yeah. Aaron. He is uh, the guy who lives in the Telvani city, okay. In the Telvani city of Telvos, where, we have, where we've already been. Um, ah, is that the guy that we asked nah that's that's the guy with the with the so i wanted to do the mark thing trouble is i need to sleep first and sleep i can over there i don't think i can sleep in the Telvani guild hall or house hall thing council thing hmm. but i can rent a bed to sleep i don't want to port yeah. back to Belmora just to sleep so let's head inside this. I always get lost when I enter this entrance here. So I'm going to take the long route. It's kind of weird. <laughs> there we go. Gateway and hi. He's a good friend of mine now. And over here. I I'm going to thoughts. free you. My uh, not you. Is limited. This. I need to get up one more flight of stairs yes there we go i want to rent one of your fine beds thank you very much you go to, go to the top floor but only the bed thank you very much or if it's a hammock whatever i just want to sleep until healed there we go perfectly well healed you want some and let's head back you have downstairs something to, to our friend who sold us the hospitality papers, so we were actually allowed to be within the town. I'm, I'm not going to go and, and talk all stuttered. Now let's place a mark in front of the council hall so we don't have to walk back and forth all the time. That's really, really annoying. May I help? In this game, oh, maybe maybe she has. Uh, nope, cancel. Sorry, stranger. My time is short, so get on with it. I'm already gone. While you were talking. Okay, my OBS is saying it is connecting to the chat, so it might be that the stream is also lost. If it is, I will. People will have to wait until let's do the mark right inside here, right here. People will have to wait those three minutes, two minutes, or other. There we go. Because uh, we are nearing the 30 minute mark, so I would say I'm going to quit now. And you will have to wait until next week when it is Morrowind Monday again. When we will check if the scam skin actually counts as the Daedra skin that Master Aaron wants. So until next week, bye bye.